everyone, I'm getting ready to, to uh, paint this, and this was something that I had made, I'm going to say, three, four months ago. I was going to paint on it and do a demo on it. Never got, never got around to it. I did it in one of my classes. And I do believe that on, uh, it is on Arches, um, Arches uh, oil paper. And uh, I have taped it down onto a piece of uh, freezer paper. When you use the freezer paper, by the way, you use the shiny side up. And uh, it's been in this condition for several months. So when this painting is finished, I'm going to have to be real careful about pulling the tape off because it's probably, if I'm not careful, it's going to tear the paper. And uh, there's a couple, I already have my oil paints out. And I thought I would show you how I mix it. I have my oil, oil in a container. It, it, it is about 50-50. I already do have the, uh, the Galkin in my cold wax. When I do cold wax by the uh, Galkin, by the way, uh, I do it... Uh, anywhere from 5 to 10 percent of galkin to cold wax. You don't want it to be too much. And the colors that I have out are, um, this is a purplish color. What color is this? I don't even know. And this is Lagoon Blue. Over here, I don't know if you can see it, this is um, Cad Green Light. And I have white and black. Oh, uh, forget the name of this purple. Oh well, it doesn't really matter. So I'm going to mix these up. And when you mix them, make sure that you mix them well. Really well. And if, it's about 50-50. And if there's still a lot of shine in your paint, uh, put a little extra wax into it. The boom blue, I really like, and this this looks like it. It might be an indigo. I'm not sure. It's been so long since I did that. And this lagoon blue is a from a charbon. And I usually put a little extra in my white just to make it feel a little bit better. By the way, you, you don't have to just use 50% uh, wax. You can use more than 50%. Just remember, the more wax that you use, the more transparent it becomes. Witness trees, I'm... Look, witness trees. I like that. There it is. Now that's still pretty shiny. I have more oil in it than the other one, so I, I am adding a little bit more wax. And by the way, I got on, on the, one of my uh, videos yesterday, I got a comment and, and a question uh, on the cold wax, and she asked me if, uh, if she could uh, use water-soluble oils with cold wax. And she didn't think she could, and my response was absolutely yes. You can use water-soluble oils. Okay, I think what I'm going to do is I'm going to put with a brayer. I should be using my smaller brayer. in that one and see the design and try not to brayer too hard. If you brayer too hard you kind of take the life out of it. The, de 
design is showing up here too, but not nearly as nice as what it is over here. Okay, from here on I'm going to use the palette knife. Put some black there. I'm trying not to think. I'm just doing it intuitively. You can see how it's picking up the design. just noticed about this is this is almost in the center so I should bring part of it over. There. That'll be better. I can see where my tape ends here, but I can't really see it that much over here. You know what? I think it ends here, so this is not even going to show. Hi there. <laughs> Hello. Hi, how are you? By the way, when you're doing shapes, try to think big, medium, and small. You can see how this shape of black is very large. And then I have two medium size. So it tells me that I need another small size of black somewhere. Over here, I have I have two. Well, this is actually smaller than this because the tape comes over to about here. So I have a big one and a, uh, a medium size. So I am going to need something just a little bit smaller. So there we go. Now I want to put some blue over here. I, I, tr I try to work on both at the same time. And, and with the blue, here I have a big, I have a medium. These are kind of medium, and then I have a real small one. I'm going to put more blue in here, so it's more. So that makes your shapes more interesting when you have them different. If every, if your shapes were all the different size, how boring would that be? I 
it's a big, a medium, and I'm going to need something small. I think my, I think the tape comes to right here. So there, that's small right there. Make this one just a little bit bigger. Now I want to use some of the purple. Gorgeous. Where does it end up here? I think it ends. I don't know if it ends here. I think it ends here. skips and goes on to something else. Now these shapes are almost the same size. This one is smaller than those, so that one is working. I want to put a little bit over here. That's my smaller shape. Some white into it. I want some pure white. And you see how wonderful that looks because it's higher contrast. Big, medium, and small. I'm not liking this at all. Yes. See that guy right there? I got him in the museum. Really? Yeah. Hmm. Just washed him up. You know, statue. Yeah, yeah. This is nice. Yeah. yeah. Have a good day. You too. Thanks for stopping. Hi. You're more than welcome to walk around. Have a nice day. Thank you. You too. Now I 
think I'm going to do some drawing into it. some white into that. Oh, that's much better. Oil and wax. Oil and wax. Cold wax. Oh. It's a fairly new medium. I don't know if you're familiar with it or not. It's a different color. And then there's two different supplements of tattoo. I want one. Right? So, all different scans of cells. Yeah, it was all different like, color. Yeah, like in the tissue. Yeah. There. Yeah. Very good. You're really nice. Thank you. You better have a good day. I'm just adding a little bit of finishing touches with a brush. to do is I like to look for shapes. And I don't know if you can see these circles right here. I'm going to fill this circle in with some white. And that will just it will become kind of the focal area.
All of this is mid-tone or on the lighter side of value and this gives it more contrast. Welcome to walk around while I'm sitting here talking to myself. <laughs> Thank you. Uh huh. Thank you, you very much. Have a good day. 
reason why I put more color on here is because the shapes were too similar in size. So now I'm going to bite the bullet and see what I have. If I don't like it, I'll retape it and do it again. I have to be real careful because, like I said, this tape has been on here forever. Well, look how much of this is coming off. This is this frog tape and it's nice, it's even as long as this has been on. It's not tearing the paper. Hi. Hi. Hello. I talk to myself often, so just ignore me. That's okay, I talk to myself too. <laughs> Sometimes I'm the only one who listens to myself. Yeah, you're right. <laughs> you're right about that. <laughs> pretty good. What I'll do is I'll give you a close-up then as well. And I'll take a picture. And I thank you very much for watching. Okay, here they are straight on. I have the tape. I'm very happy with them. You could come around the table if you like. Thank you. They're oil and wax. You can touch them as a wax painting. It's a wax painting. Yep. I like the colors. Thank you. I tried to exaggerate the colors.